Let's just take a look at uh, Affinity Publishers' advanced typography. So advanced typography is all about being able to extend a particular font's capabilities beyond that of applying a bold, italic, or an underline to uh, using more uh, decorative and creative options on the characters for that font. So we can use a particular font uh, to demonstrate this, and it's called Gabriola. And we've applied that to this text on the heading of this uh, cover. And I'll just show you by just jumping down to uh, this particular area of the page that um, with this font installed and applied, we have uh, some characters which are uh, by design, i.e. by font design, uh, made into particular uh, uh, ligatures. So in this instance, this F and the I is uh, a single ligature. And if we go to the character panel, you can see that under the typography section, uh, as that uh, text has been typed out, it's automatically applied a ligature um, as the font designer had decided. So you can disable that and you can see that you can get the two characters, the F and the I, separated and you can see the I with the dot above it there. If I enable it again, it uh, disappears and it gets kind of combined into the, uh, into the character, uh, uh, the F character. So if I just jump further up to the top of the page, you can see this text here uh, it's all applied uh, using the font uh, Gabriola. So I can select particular uh, characters and then explore the typographic options which are open to me. And I can do that via this typography section that we've just seen. So uh, if I just hover over a, a few of these options, we've got contextual alternatives. Um, we've got different ordinals, fractions, superscripts and uh, capitalization options, but I want to show you this particular option, which is stylistic sets. Now, if I click that, you get a drop down. And this drop down allows you to change the general appearance of this character. So I can just enable uh, that option there. You can see, I'll just jump through these one by one so you can get a sense of uh, how these are looking. You can enable one stylistic set at a time for best results. And just generally explore through. Now that's quite cumbersome doing that. So I'll just show you how that you can use the uh, text menu and use the shift command T or this show typography option to display a dedicated panel for typography. So in here you can see that heads up of exactly uh, what we've just been doing there, that uh, toggling through different stylistic sets. And you can just, uh, just jump through them and demonstrate as you go. So I think we're going to go for a option of stylistic set 7, I quite like that for the A. We can select that, do a copy, and we can apply it to, just move this out of the way a little bit for you, apply it to this A character. And we can go through this particular document, uh, just exploring the different letters, which all differ in their ability to provide different stylistic sets and swashes and, and capitals. Uh, these options will differ for the character and for the font in, actually installed and applied. Okay, so for this W, let's just jump through and apply some uh, different styles. Okay, so we've finished applying our uh, typography to the uh, text there. So if we just come out to a wider view, uh, and you can see that this uh, Lewis Carroll text here, uh, just here, has had some quite nice uh, typographic stylistic sets applied to the B, the Y, and the two L's. Now we've uh, looked at stylistic sets, I just want to show you, uh, just by expanding this a little bit further, I'll rather scroll down, uh, different capitalization options. So uh, by selection in here, 
I can select this uh, Lewis Carroll text and I can choose some different uh, capitalization options. So I could choose, say, um, all caps, um, caps to small caps, and various other options to get a different look to my text. And you can use them in conjunction with um, stylistic sets where appropriate. But it's a case of experimenting with those as you go. So I hope that gives you an idea about how you can use typographic control in an advanced sense uh, with using open type font features on particular fonts. So the fonts differ in their capabilities to provide these different options that show on the typography panel here.